Hello, my name is Javier Esparza. Since I haven't experienced something related to human rights, I'll talk about a story that happened to one of my friends back in Mexico. So four years ago, she was 14 years old and she needed to renovate her Mexican passport because that year she and her family had some trips planned for the year. So everything started because his dad's name is Iñaki José de Belaustegigoitia. Her grandfather had the same last name as his dad, but her uncle doesn't have the word de, but just because her grandfather didn't want to put that word as the last name being so, so long, but he registered my friend's dad with that word. So when her older bro brother is born, her dad didn't register him with that word, and it is supposed that when you register your first kid, you have to register the rest of your kids the same way with the same last name. So they were, they had, they never had a problem until four years ago. But also in 2005, a lawyer advised my friend's dad to avoid problems in the future that he uh, should make a, a trial where a judge gave him a document that guarantees that any name or combination of um, her dad's name uh, was the same person, meaning if uh, they wrote, um, I don't know, Iñaki instead of with an I, with a Y, it will be the same person. So, four years ago, when my friend needed to renovate her passport, they make their appointment and go to the office and everything. And while being at the office, they told her dad that they couldn't provide a passport to her daughter because of protection of the minor and everything. So they were telling um, her dad that um, she, she wasn't his daughter and everything. And her dad was like, it's not the first time she gets, a, she gets a passport. I mean, it's a renovation. Like, you can see her passport here, like her old passport and everything. You, you have the birth certificate and everything. Like, why are you, are you rejecting my daughter to get a passport? So they were saying that his daughter, my friend, was illegal and that she wasn't his daughter. And that she wasn't even Mexican because the last name didn't match and uh, she could be like a like a stolen girl or something so um, my my friend's name is Ana Sofia Belaustegigoitia without the D that his dad uh, her dad has so after they told her that, that uh, after they told her dad that he needed to adopt her because she wasn't his daughter and she needed to have the word D on her last name they even threatened her, threatened her dad to go to jail because of child traffic and that he kidnapped the kid and everything. So they went to court and everything and friends of her dad had to testify that they know the girl since she was born and everything. So they didn't have, they didn't solve the problem and they could, couldn't get the custody of my friend because she was an or orphan kid and she belonged to the state apparently. So they went to Mexico City to try to fix the problem and they were told the same thing that she was not his daughter and they needed to protect the minor and everything. The good thing is that since her dad is from Spain she has a dual citizenship. So she had a passport from Spain as well and she could use that to travel. But after 10 months they decided to go to another city in a different state in Mexico to try again if she could get uh, her passport. But her parents said that if they could get the passport in that city, they couldn't get the passport in that city, they would start the process of adoption since they got the custody and the passport declined. So basically, they were violating my friend's rights to get a passport and they even threatened her dad to go to jail when her dad had every document stating that she was his daughter and everything. Although they were saying they were... Um, trying to protect the minor, there was no reason for her to get her passport declined and even threaten a person for child trafficking 
is super bad. I chose this topic because when my friend told me, told me this story, I got shocked because it is by law that any person of Mexican nationality by birth or by naturalization may obtain a passport. My friend was born in Torreón, Mexico. She never had a problem before on um, any legal document because of her last name. After knowing this story, I realized that she might not be the only person that has uh, experienced something related. Not only passports are being declined, but visa as well. For example, only 75% of Mexicans that apply for a visa, a U.S. visa, like any U.S. visa, is approved. But what happened with the other 25%? Why those... Um, Why do those people got rejected? Is it because there's of their social class? And that's discrimination as well. If a person doesn't like you, they have the decision whether they give you a visa or not, even if you have every, every document prepared and ready to get your visa.